Well, until that time, I'd like you and Mr. Cannon to ensure that the Navy's C4 supply hasn't been compromised. You, it sounded like you said me and Callan. Deeks and me. Uh, is there any... You're the light, you're the night, you're the color of my blood. You're the cure, you're the pain, you're the only thing I want to touch. You know, don't you? Of course I know. Who else knows? Well, let's see. Sam, now, Eddie, of course. Eric took a little while, but he finally got there. The guys in the motor pool, pretty much everyone at this point. About oh, Granger. Granger, I'm not so sure about. Uh, he's definitely mellowed since the poisoning, but he could just be buying his time, waiting for the right moment to crush your mouth. Wow, well, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Don't pretend like you didn't know the risks. Just wondering if his partner shelf has something to do with us. That is a question only Hetty can answer. It's just you know, eventually you guys are gonna have to figure out where this thing is going. You don't want to continue to put your lives on the line. Meaning what? Meaning that when Michelle and I had Cam, it was a whole nother mission. Kids. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. We're not. We're not thinking about kids. We're not even thinking about dinner. That's fine, but things don't always go as they're planned. Things happen. Kids happen. Never knew that. Did I, did I say some things? Did we do something wrong? I just know that Hetty's worried. You and I, we're good. Okay, nothing's gonna tear us apart. Say it, say we're good. We're good. Okay. Follow me through the dark. Let me take you past the satellite. It would seem that the LAPD either on their own or with some outside influence, has decided to open an investigation into you. If there is anything else that the LAPD can use against you, Mr. Deeks, now is the time to speak up. There's nothing. Partner? You safe? Of course. Only you can set my heart on fire. On fire. Yeah, I'll let you set the pace. Cause I'm not thinking straight. I know you don't want to talk about this. But if Detective Rivera keeps sticking, is she going to find anything? Can someone ask me that question? Why not? Because I honestly don't know how to answer. Hey, hi, how are you? I think that's the, the barista that works at the coffee shop next to the boat shed. It's probably how she knows my name. She writes it on my latte. Did you recognize her? No. Yeah, I think her name is Cheryl, how she knows me. Hey, party, Marty! Hey, girls! Party, party, Marty. That's a tough one. Listen, so long before I met you, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. I love you. I love you, too. All right. Party, Marty. Oh, oh God, no! Road when I was a rookie detective, they partnered me up with this guy that was old school. They uh, found him in this Hollywood motel, mm -hmm. shot with his own gun. Rumor was that he used to get really high and beat up hookers, so the investigators just assumed that he was wailing on some poor girl and she got a hold of his gun and unloaded it. 
there's something that I need to know, then you need to tell me. I would if I could, I just don't know. You did the entire white truffle tasting menu at Giorgio's? Every single dish. I'm impressed. It was amazing. That you had that epic meal all by yourself. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't have it all by myself. Here we go. Oh, you are the man, Deeks. Champagne wishes, caviar dreams. Spares no expense for his lady. Since we're talking about Giorgio Baldi's, that's the kind of place that you spring for when you're about to frickin' propose. Ah, don't answer that question. You didn't ask a question. Exactly. Well, this just got weird. The topic of conversation was best meals ever. White truffles it is. High price plates of fungi. Well, that's really interesting, actually, because I think it was you and I <clears throat> over a plate of nachos at the Clippers Spurs game when you told me that a meal is all about the person you're sharing it with. Baby, those nachos were just the most amazing nachos I have ever had. But not like last supper good. <laughs> My head spinning around, I can't see clear no more. Kenzie, it's good to see you. What are you waiting for? Dix, you are looking good. I never thought I'd hear myself say that either. <laughs> Makes two of us. I'm sorry, you were Mark Moore's partner for 15 years and you never met his wife? Nope. You wanted to protect her from his work. Huh. Sounds like your partner was hiding something from you. Or he just wanted to keep his work stress separate from his home stress. I think hiding stuff is a bad idea. You have any idea what she's talking about right now? You are an idiot. That was a rhetorical question. Why did you spend the last two nights alone in your apartment? Definitely not rhetorical. I was cleaning up after the plumbers, if you have to know. Oh, the plumbers don't clean up after themselves? Not to my standard, uh -huh. maybe yours. No. Oh. But I'm not, you know, living in squalor. at home okay with you and the princess? Oh god, wow, I do not remember you being this cool. You missed it. Do I? Mm -hmm. And the princess can hear everything you're saying and has the ability to shoot high velocity rounds in your direction at 3,000 feet per second. Good looking out, baby. Yeah, sweetheart. Both of you. Shut up. So white truffles are obviously a delicacy if you never asked me what my favorite meal was. Also, I have a confession to make. There was no leak and therefore no plumbers. Then why do you still look nervous? Well, you're about to find out. <laughs> Your favorite meal is lasagna. That's cute. Well, more specifically, my favorite meal is uh, my mom's lasagna. Oh my gosh. Your mom got here two days ago and she's been staying with you. She's the one who's been blowing up your phone, and I know, I know you're not making me meet her for the first time. You are for the first time. Is that you, Martin? Mama. Hey. <laughs> mom, this is uh, Kenzie. Kenzie, this is my mom, and those are words that I just said out loud. Hi. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. You cook? No. You want to learn? No. Yeah, I like it. Come on, let's get this party started. What are you waiting for? Oh, wait, no, can I just... Hey, oh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's your kind of woman. That's just research, because I like to go into every case with a strong understanding of my subjects. Bra size. I was going to say background, but 34B. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode.